Oscar Week in Hollywood is unlike any other, not only for the film industry and its celebrities, but also for those who pamper and primp them. As the queen of the eyebrow, Anastasia holds court to the stars at the pre-Oscar Jaguar and Anastasia getaway. She looks at your face and she looks at the canvas and then she creates an eyebrow for you. For Anastasia, it's all about giving back to a country and an industry that's done so much for her. At the end of the week, you watch TV and you see that you are part of that beautiful person who is there getting an Oscar. And I enjoy it and I, I do it with love and I think that's the most important thing. 17 years earlier, the most important thing to Anastasia Soare was just getting the chance to come to America. In 1987, her husband Victor successfully defected to Italy and within months had moved to Los Angeles. However, for Anastasia, now the wife of a defector, life for her and her daughter was not easy. Well, it was quite difficult. For two years and a half, I went through quite stressful time. Now working as a taxi driver, Victor called his wife back home with an unexpected suggestion. He called her and he told her, Eastern European estheticians are really popular and somewhat successful in Los Angeles. I don't foresee you coming here and doing five years of college all over again, especially when you don't speak English. I would really, really encourage you to get your esthetician's license. And my mom said, what? Reluctantly putting her dreams of an architectural career aside, Anastasia is willing to do whatever it takes to make it in America. You know, I wanted so much to come here that didn't matter to me. Two and a half years after her husband defected to Los Angeles, at the age of 32, Anastasia and her daughter left the tyranny of communist Romania behind when they were finally granted political asylum in the United States. After two years, almost three years of not seeing my husband, you feel like a stranger. The difficulties weren't just limited to her home life. It was a huge shock. It was like being dropped off in a deserted island. I spoke no English, which was devastating for me. Not knowing the language and without her friends and extended family, Anastasia felt a deep sense of loneliness and isolation. For the first six months, probably, I cried every single day. Anastasia in Greek means resurrection. And if her rebirth was to begin anywhere, it would have to be in the City of Angels. Well, in the beginning, she couldn't understand what the people were telling her at the market, so she enrolled in English school. But her English classes would last only weeks. I, I gave up the school because we needed the money more. Finding a means to support her family was now Anastasia's most pressing need. She reluctantly takes a job at a small salon on Melrose Place as a junior esthetician. I started with doing facial and body waxing and eyebrows as well. But what she also started was to develop an awareness of how much her American clients began responding to the eyebrow component of her makeover technique. I can't make a difference. I know, it's a big difference. You're done, my dear? Well, it was something very... I became really obsessed with this eyebrow because nobody thought that was important. Ironically, Anastasia had been applying her skills and eye for the perfectly shaped eyebrow based on her classic education in art history and architecture. Taking all that knowledge from Leonardo da Vinci and Fibonacci, I was able to get that the perfect golden proportion on everybody's face. Was at hand, an outlet for her American ambitions. There was a shift in America. My mom became a driven businesswoman. She started being booked, you know, with clients from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. By the time she got home, it was 10 p.m. After a year and a half, she decides it's time that she works for herself. So she rents a small room at the Juan Juan Salon in Beverly Hills. The struggle for a better life would reverse the traditional family roles. Victor, who was no longer the primary breadwinner, was having a difficult time adjusting. He was very resentful, I, I think was a problem. I think my dad felt like he was losing his wife, his Romanian wife that he was used to. We came here with the idea that both we, we could grow as a family. Uh, we, we wanted to come to America to, to live the American dream. For the next four years, Anastasia's 14-hour workdays, six days a week, take their toll and her marriage to Victor ultimately fails. I tried for five years, I did anything. I, I did everything I thought I could do to fix the problem. Anastasia and her daughter were now completely on their own. Coming up. She had saved $50,000 
And she said, you know what? I don't care if I lose it all. I'm going to try it. When Women on Top returns. From her humble beginnings in Romania to a woman who is now widely respected by her peers, clients, the business, and entertainment press, Anastasia Suare has taken her strive and succeed philosophy to the very top of the personal beauty industry. Anastasia, I think, is an amazing example of the American dream. She had the drive and the vision to turn it into a reality. But this reality only truly began after the breakup of her marriage and a successful five-year confidence-building run in her small one-room operation. For Anastasia, the time was right to make her boldest move yet. She had saved $50,000 and she said, you know what, I don't care if I lose it all, I'm going to try it. Coming from Romania, she still had no real clue about running a small business in America. I had no idea of the financial system. I, how should I apply for a credit card or, you know, we didn't have anything like that in Romania. But in 1996, she leaves her rented room and opens up her own salon, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Almost immediately, it's clear she's entered a whole new business realm. As word spreads about her ability to create the perfectly shaped brow, so too do Hollywood's most cherished clients begin making appointments. I think the celebrity factor has been a huge uh, catalyst for her success. But if she weren't talented and were to be challenged, I can't. I cannot sit still. Taking risks has paid off for Anastasia. With the success of her salon, in 2000, she decides to develop a cosmetic line for eyebrow and facial products. We want all the pencils to have the same cap. We should be. Because we can't have in one store mixed color. The Anastasia product line is her way of reaching the ordinary woman with whom she so strongly identifies. And the techniques that help make her mark are now offered in numerous Sephora and Nordstrom stores across America. Rather than help bury her past, Anastasia's success has only served to intensify her desire to remember it and the importance of family along the way. She has an incredible 30-year-old daughter that she has a relationship with. She has her mom.